thank you to Agma Schwa, Eternal, Demotan, and your mom for requesting this video. Hello internet, welcome to Conlang Theory, the show that gets facts wrong about your favorite web show intros. I'm Waso Wasatoatu, and in this episode, we'll be looking at the Supreme IAL Esperon 2, also known as Kha. I am personally very excited to do this episode, because Esperon 2 is a criminally underrated conlang. Like seriously, people should have more respect for the world's old, second oldest IAL, yet it seems like everyone forgot about it. So I'm here to honor the creator of this language and bring it to the spotlight. Esperanto is an international auxiliary language, originally published in the book The End of Babylon, the Esperanto language, by British orthodontist G. O. Leemanhoff, who in 1876, under an extreme case of tuberculosis, reportedly heard the voice of God telling him to reunite the world with a language equal to all. And after waking up in a cold sweat, Leemanhoff packed his bags and started to travel the world to study. During his studies, Leemanhoff traveled across all continents and studied from several language families. And after a span of 10 years, in 1886, he published Esperanto. But during his book signing event, he suddenly collapsed to the floor and died. And according to rumors, Witnesses saw an orb of light leave his body and float to the skies. Esperanto features 20 consonants and 3 vowels. Its consonants are N, M, T, K, E, D, G, H, 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 K, K, P, K, K, P, P, K, L, and H. I find these consonants quite good actually, especially considering they were handpicked by Mr. Leemanhoff to have the same level of difficulty for every learner from any country. And when picking consonants, he had a brilliant idea that incorporated his profession as an orthodontist into the language, and added a phoneme made by doing a technique he discovered a while back that helps improve jaw structure in which you put your tongue in your, the roof of your mouth. With that, he made the sounds K, D, K, which were later IPA-fied in the future editions of the book. The vowels are E, E, and U, which is a very good and creative choice compared to the common and cliché five vowel systems, in my opinion. For the orthography, he didn't want to give one culture priority over others, so he decided to take graphemes from 22 different writing systems, those being Burmese, Khmer, Greek, Futhark, Squamish, Georgian, Thai, Egyptian, Cherokee, Ge'ez, Hanzi, Latin, Mormon, Tifinag, Armenian, Devanagari, Glagolitic, Hiragana, Hangu, Tamil, Mongolian, and Cyrillic. But now, you may be wondering to yourself, Oh, Awana! Sinatokia ni! Esperanto features 20 consonants and 3 vowels. Sitle nampa mute tuan, lilon ala tan semea. And to that, I say two things. First of all, why did you ask it in Tokibona? And second of all, it's actually quite simple. While Leemanhoff was having his fever prophecy, a symbol came into his mind, of which he decided to dedicate a letter in his language, resulting in the letter used for the sound K. Esperanto's grammar is quite simple, being almost fully analytic. It features three grammatical numbers, four cases, two tenses, two moods, four genders, four articles, and four evidentials. The only part of the grammar that isn't analytical is its article affixes. The way the language does superlatives and intensity of adjectives is via reduplication. For example, the phrase, a horse is a big animal, is while a whale is the biggest animal, is a 
machen. <lacht> Pin. Pen. Man. Girl. Girl. K has four cases. Those being the ergative, the accusative, the intransitive, and the instrumental. Some examples for these are N K which means I love you and which means I eat using my mouth. The language also features four evidentials, those being visual, auditory, hearsay, and gustatory. Lack of evidential indicates something other than these four, like stuff that's common sense, assumptions, guesstimates, or lying, for example. Esperanto is a mostly a posteriori language, taking words from other languages from all across the globe. For example, the word for apple is pun, from French pomme, or the word for mercury is mercure from Latvian Marcus. Only a few of the words in the language, mostly grammar words, are a priori. For example, le, which is the gustatory evidential, and ke, which means language, and, as you may have noticed, is the endonym for Esperanto. Now onto a sim small sample text of the language. Considering Mr. Leimenhoff died too early to experience the greatest literary work of all time, Twilight, I have translated this text myself. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, I'd say I like Esperanto more than I like Vatgil, but not as much as I like Polyespo, making it the second best conlang reviewed so far. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, where I'll be reviewing Latino Comuno.